JBN, we keep you informed. Coming up in the news today, doctors are not sure what is wrong with Kemoy Campbell. $795.3 million allocated for rural water projects. Alleged thief puts up messy defense. A distraction, says Jackson, in response to government's criticism of PMP's role in St. James crime surge. Bail amount reduced for accused St. James baby snatcher. Airdresser held with cocaine at NMIA and shopkeeper shot dead in Kingston. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Doctors are not sure what is wrong with Kemoy Campbell. Jamaica's distance runner Kemoy Campbell says doctors have been unable to, to diagnose his heart condition and will be inserting an implantable cardioverter defibrillator ICD in the left side of his ribs. Campbell's heart had stopped causing him to collapse while he was participating in the men's 3000 meter event at the Mirrors Games in New York on February 9. After multiple vials of blood, echoes, EKGs, ultrasounds, MRIs, CAT scan, PET scan and heart biopsy, the weeks of testing resulted in no diagnosis for the cause of my heart stopping, Campbell shared on Instagram. I'll be putting in an ICD in my body, the left side of my ribs. This device will shock my heart back into rhythm if this was to happen again. I was told that I would have to take a few months off from running. After those months, I could start getting back at it slowly with permission from my cardiologist, he continued. The athlete has been treated at the New York Presbyterian Columbia Medical Center in the United States. Campbell, formerly of Belfield High School in Manchester, dominated the middle and the distance races at Boys Jams. He also had success at the regional Carifta Games, winning from 800 meters through to 5,000 meters. He left Jamaica and attended South Plains College in Texas in 2011, where he won National Junior College Athletics Association NJCCA titles in the 800 meters and in cross country. Two years later, he moved on to the University of Arkansas and placed fifth in the men's 5,000 meters final and finished second in the men's 3,000 meters at the 2013 NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field Championships. $795.3 million allocated for rural water projects. The Rural Water Supply Limited will be undertaking several projects in the next fiscal year under a $795.3 million infrastructure rehabilitation initiative. The funds provided in the 2019 to 2020 estimates of expenditure now before the House of Representatives will be used to upgrade water supplies in several parishes. The works include rehabilitation of catchment tanks in Trelawney, St. Anne and Manchester, as well as the installation of guttering, storage facilities, and solar pumps at the Maypen Infirmary and schools in the parish. Schools also in St. Catherine and St. Elizabeth will benefit. The project, which started in February 2017, aims to upgrade supply systems and rehabilitate 280 catchment tanks island-wide and install rainwater harvesting systems in schools and public institutions. Achievements up to December 2018 included the completion of supply systems at Top Linster, Maroon Town, Aldean Spring, Comfort Valley, Rock River and Gibbs Hill in St. Mary, Spring Garden and Burnt Ground in St. James, Spice Grove, Loading Bay, Manchester Municipality, Knock Patrick Pipeline, Perth Spring and Tiki Tiki in Manchester, Hermitage, Matney and Douglas Cassie in St. Anne, Portland Cottage in Carindon and Top Reading in St. Elizabeth. Catchment tanks have also been rehabilitated at the St. Anne's Bay Hospital and the St. Mary Infirmary and Primary Schools in the parish. The project under the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation is slated to end in February 2022. Alleged thief puts up messy defense. A Kingston man who reportedly climbed over a fence and stole three pieces of lumber from a property insisted last week when he appeared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that he went on the property to defecate. Christopher Campbell was recently arrested and charged with simple larceny. 
According to the allegations, on the morning of the incident, about 2 a.m., a security guard saw when Campbell climbed over the fence and took up the three pieces of board and threw them over the fence. However, when he climbed back over the fence, the security guard reportedly accosted him and held him until the police came. Them trying to set me up. Me guilty of going over the fence, but me never steal nothing, he said in court on Tuesday before Paris Judge Maxine Ellis. When asked why he went over the property at the hour, Campbell claimed he was returning from a club. If I steal something, why them never have it at the station with me, he then asked. But the prosecutor pointed out to the court that the security guard saw Campbell climbing over the fence. The accused then claimed, my belly was hurting me, so I go over there and go, shh. So I never keep going and go home or go in the bushes or on the roadside, the judge asked. The amount of time you take to climb over the fence that would have put on some more pressure on you if you're saying you have something like a diarrhea situation, Judge Ellis added. She further told him before remanding him in custody, I don't know when you made that up, but I'm going to give you something to settle yourself. A distraction, says Jackson, in response to government's criticisms of PMP's role in St. James' crime surge. The parliamentary opposition has hit back at comments from the government, blaming the opposition People's National Party, PMP, for the current upsurging murders, particularly in St. James. On the weekend, the Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, said the PMP's decision not to support the extension of the states of emergency has signaled to criminals that they can carry out their evil deeds with impunity. Opposition spokesman on national security, Fitz Jackson, has condemned the statement, adding that the claim cannot be supported by data. When the data is consulted, there were six murders in the last three weeks, equivalent to the same amount in the last three weeks in St. James when there was a state of emergency. In fact, this equates to the average three-week period for the entire year of 2018 when there was a state of emergency. Mr. Jackson is also accusing the government of using the crime figures to distract Jamaicans from the corruption allegations now dogging the Andrew Olness administration. There are no facts to support the claim. All this is is an effort on the part of the government to find distractions from the unraveling of the corruption of Petrodram that is now taking place in Parliament. They are now trying to hold the opposition responsible for their own failure to do their work and will not have any moment of it, he said. Recent data provided by the police show that St. James has recorded 16 murders since January. This represents a 17% increase when compared with the corresponding period last year. Bail amount re reduced for accused St. James baby snatcher. The woman who is accused of stealing a three-week-old baby from the child's mother in the parking lot of the Cornwall Regional Hospital in St. James had her bail amount reduced when she appeared in the St. James Parish Court on Monday. The accused, 26-year-old Melissa Harriot of Norwood in the parish, had been unable to take up bail in the sum of $250,000, which was offered when she reappeared in court on January 22nd. Her legal representatives requested that presiding judge Sandra Wong Small reduce the bail amount by half. The judge eventually reduced the sum to 200000 The next court appearance is March 27. Reports are that the biological mother of the child was at the Cornell Regional Hospital on Friday, January 4, when she was allegedly befriended by the accused. About 1.50 p.m., they both left the pharmacy at the hospital and went into the parking lot where the child's mother reportedly left the baby in the care of the accused to go and use the restroom. On her return, the mother found that both the baby and the accused were missing. An investigation was launched after the police were notified. A dresser held with cocaine at NMIA. A dresser has been arrested and charged in connection with a cocaine seizure at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. Reports are that during operations in the area about 12.30 p.m. on Saturday, February 23, Lawmen searched a woman and one pound of cocaine was found on her. The police say the illicit drug has an estimated street value of $600,000. The woman, 39-year-old Sabrina Hunter, was subsequently charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine and importing cocaine. Hunter is scheduled to appear in the corporate area parish court on Thursday, February 28. Investigations continue. Shopkeeper shot dead in Kingston. A shopkeeper was shot dead by an unknown assailant yesterday on Glen Drive, Kingston 8. Reports from the Constant Spring Police are that about 10.30 a.m., 37-year-old Damien Log was at his shop when he was pounced upon by a gunman who shot him in the head. 
The police were subsequently summoned and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.